Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play uh, Wild Horses by the Rolling Stones. Now what I've done here is, if you listen to the actual recording, there's a lot of guitar layers. There's a, a guitar part doing primarily what we're doing, but there's a lot of higher kind of guitar layering going on, and there's a guitar solo and everything. I'm just going to condense that down into a pretty easy version of playing the song. So you've been playing the same chords, and Pretty much you're doing it in a one guitar version. Um, just kind of just getting to the crux of what's important to sound like the chord progression and, and do it the right way. All right, so we're in standard tuning here. We're going to start with this little intro, actually. that just starts with a, a G major chord. To an A minor chord. Back to the G. Finish it with a G. All right, so it's just G to A minor twice, and then come back and end it on the G. Now we we have basically uh, three more parts to learn. We have the verse, chorus, and the chord progression that's going on underneath the solo. So here's the verse. just gets to repeating those chords again. So we're going to start with a B minor bar chord. At the second fret here, full bar, play the third fret on the B and the fourth fret on the G and the D strings. Then back to a G chord. Now when you're doing the G chord, you're doing this G chord version that has the open B string in it. So as he does that, he's going to Lay the first fret down here on the second string with your index finger. Just kind of create a little melody within the chord. Back to the B minor. And back to the G. Alright, so we went B minor to G twice, and on the first G at least we added that little. All right, now we go to an A minor chord. To a C. To a D major, just really quick, just one, two, three on it. So we got. Back to the G. And we're gonna finish it off by going to the D. Alright, so when we're coming back around to repeat the verse again, he plays a bass note here on the third fret on the A string. Then we go right back to the same chord. At the end of the second time through the verse, you don't do that little third fret on the A string. Uh, we just go straight to the chorus from there. All right, the chorus starts with an A minor chord. It sounds like this. So that's starting with the A minor again, up to the C, that little quick maneuver here, just three hits on the D major real quick, so we have, back to that G, 
Now on F major bar chord, it's a full bar with the first fret, second fret on the uh, G string, and third fret on the D and the A string. So we have resolve that to a C. Now the little moving bass line maneuver we have to start over the verse to play it the second time through, kind of like we did in the verse, is so you went to a C and now you're going to go back to the second fret here on the uh, A string, the two middle strings open, and the third fret on the B string. And then that takes you back to the A minor. So we have this. At the end of the chorus, you just end on the C, you don't make your way back down to the A minor. And it goes back to the verse there. Now when we get around to doing the verse, like in the chorus like twice, when it comes back around um, to that C chord, you're going to start the solo progression, what goes on underneath the guitar solo. And this one's pretty easy, it's just a C major chord, but you have the G held on top as well. Still makes it a C major chord though. Just adding that note, it's already in the chord. Then all you have to do is take your second finger and your third finger and move them down one string. So we have the third fret now on the D string and second fret on the uh, G string. Leave the other two fingers where they are. And just strum those four strings. And that, what that gave us was basically an F major add nine chord. We go back to that C. quick little D's again, just hit it three times. Now there's a little fill here when you get to this G at the very end. You do one of those that we did earlier in the song, just do it once. And then we do pull off on second fret to the open string on the D string, open A, and then they hit the sixth string. us back to the verse. All right, so and it's got some nice chords in it, and obviously it's a beautiful song. So I've kind of condensed everything here, so it's good for just one person to play and sing along with. Uh, it's probably, I think, how most people would play it. So hope you guys enjoyed learning it. I enjoyed doing it. I'll see you again soon with another song for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye-bye.